What is going on guys? Reseller Tom here. Today we're talking all about how to avoid slow sales on, on eBay. Now this strategy is going to work very, very well. I have a similar concept on my channel. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to learn how to really explode your eBay business, learn how I went from 5k gross to 10k gross and now shooting for 15k gross, subscribe. Uh, I'll show you the journey and I'll show you exactly how it works. I come out with content like this every single day. So if that's something you're interested in, subscribe, hit the like button, and we're going to get straight into it right now. So you need to really um, take this business seriously. And so if you're full time, you absolutely need to become a professional and really set yourself from the rest. And so what's going to really take you to the next level is endless research on new upcoming brands or current very um, high sell through rate brands that have high ASP also known as high sell through rate brands. So what is high sell through rate? Let's say you're looking at Levi's 512 32x32. You go on eBay, you see that there's 500 listed and then you look to see how many sold. You see that there's 520 sold. That means that that pair of jeans is very desirable and it will sell within 90 days guaranteed, or that's what the history has shown you. Most times history re repeats itself. And so if you were to pick those uh, 512 Levi's jeans up, it would get sold. So how do you become a master at that? And it's really front loading the research beforehand. So yes, you can go to the binge, the bins and try to, yeah, binge the bins. You can go to the bins and basically pick up anything you think is going to sell, or you can do a lot of research beforehand and the best never like think they know it all. Like I don't know it all. I'm constantly studying new brands, new, new brands that I can find at the bins. If you think you know it all, you're going to stay where you're at. And so the best thing that we can all do is to continue to research high sell through rate brands beforehand. That way, when we go to the bins or the thrift stores, we find these items because it's locked deep in our subconscious mind. Even if we kind of forget the brand, when we read the title or the tag, we'll, we'll like remember it and it'll spark uh, in our brain that, hey, this is a high sell through rate brand. So if you really want to get to the next level, you need to do research and become a professional with understanding the best brands possible to resell on eBay. If you can get your Rolodex to become big enough, each time you go to the bins, you'll walk away with a gold mine. It's basically mining for gold at the bins. It literally is the same thing because you can go in there and find $20 bills, $50 bills, $100 bills, $300 bills. I found an Arteryx jacket that 99% of people have no clue what Arteryx is. I found this yellow rain jacket. It's worth at least 500 bucks. This guy sent me a low ball offer for a hundred bucks. I went on a store. He was selling very similar jackets for around four to 500 bucks. I would have never known what Arteryx was unless I actually front loaded the research beforehand. And so that's what everyone needs to do. If you want to become a six figure income earner or seven figure earner, what we need to do is front load the research, become a master at these brands, the up and coming and what's currently selling very well. And you can do that yourself by going through stores or just looking up brands to see you can um, list them high to low. So you can type in Polo Ralph Lauren, see what sold recently, go from high to low, see what the highest tier items of Polo Ralph Lauren are, or a Massimo or Calvin Klein or Hugo Boss or uh, Prana or Arteryx or Cool, Patagonia. You can see what the best brands, the best sub subcategory of those brands are, and then you can work yourself down to see what is selling at you know the thirty dollar range to even hundred dollar range. And you really want to study that range because it's it's very good margin, especially at the thrift stores. Most things in LA are going to be like eight to to fifteen dollars where you are, it may be a lot less. Uh, however, if you can spend $8, but make $50 and come away with $30 profit, that's, that's huge. That's really, really good. I think that ideally in reselling, you want to come away with $20 profit. So that might be a $40 item fully shipped out the door, 40 item, uh, $40 fully spent by the customer. Let's just say you make half of that. 
$20 profit is really where you want to be with reselling. If you hit 13 sales per day at $20 profit, that's a six figure business. So that's really the goal. If you want to do the $10 profit model, you're going to sell things around 25 out the door where the customer pays 25. That's including shipping. You'll probably come up with half. So let's just say $10 shoot for $10 shipping. If you're doing a higher volume model, which is going to be 26 sales a day, or you can sell 13 a day for $20, which gets you the six figure income um, bracket. So I think that if you want to go full time, that's absolutely where you want to be. You want to source and front load all the research. And the next part of this is let me take a sip of the kombucha. Not sponsored, by the way. If you want to take your business to the next level what really changed everything for me obviously front loading the research but next is staying longer doing more thrift routes so let's say you're just doing one thrift today one thrift store a day maybe you find two items that are gold you always want to shoot for gold items the highest tier items possible if you have a lot of time stay all day if you have to come away with 20 30 40 items if you have to you're not going to find 30 items at a one thrift store. It may take you 5, 10, 20 thrift stores to actually find all 20 or 30 items that are $20 profit or more. That's the psychology and the mindset that you need to have because you don't just want to pick up basic crew neck t-shirts that sell for, for five bucks. You really want to, you really want to raise your ASP, your average sales, um, your average sales price. You want to get that to around, you know, 25 to 30 plus dollars. That is the sweet spot where all re resellers need to be. And if you can do 13 sales, like I said, at $20 profit, then you're in a really, really good place. So I think that's the goal for everyone where they want to be. And it's going to take, like I said, research and spending more time at the thrifts. So I go to the bins, the Goodwill bins outlet. I would type that in on Google Maps to see if there's one near you. If it's one hour or two hours, I think it's still worth it. You could spend all day there and try to get, you know, as many items as you can. You could get as all the items you need for the whole week and you want to be consistent every day. That's step number three. You need to be consistent for the clothing category. It's very important that you're consistent and you're selling and listing similar items, right? So if you want to sell, you know, the same items, you want to list those those items. So for instance, if uh, I get a bunch of shoes one week, but then I stop doing shoes and I just focus on hats, I'm going to get way more hat sales. And then the shoes, I probably won't really get many shoe sales because I'm not listing the shoes. So if you're getting, let's just say button ups, for example, which is a horrible category. But if you want to up increase the button ups, you're going to have to list button ups every single day. If you want to sell hats every day, you're going to have to list hats every single day. If you want to um, sell shoes every day, you have to list shoes every day. So really try to figure out a category that you can niche into and sell that every day, whether it's jeans or coats or hoodies. Try to pick a niche within the clothing category that you can master and try to become an expert in that niche. For me personally, I have a wide gamut of things. So like polo shirts, t-shirts, hoodies, jeans cargo pants, shorts, all that. And so I try to make it all even every day when I list and then I sell those every single day. So if you want to sell a certain thing every day, you're going to have to list that certain thing every single day. So that's like the three step process that works very well. I think if you can follow that and be consistent and list every day, which is also very important, try to list the same number of items every day that are similar to the items you already have. And I think you will be tremendously successful. And I think if you do everything I said in this video, uh, you should hit six figures, no problem. You'll be in the top 10% that gets 90% of the sales. But it takes discipline, it takes, um, it takes knowledge, and it takes sacrifice. So you can pick one, you can't have it all, you can't have time freedom if you're not willing to sacrifice um, really creating a, an unstoppable eBay business. Yes, the time freedom can come later, but in the beginning, you're going to have to sacrifice pretty much everything to really establish a very successful business. And that's with any business, not just eBay, but with any business, it's going to take sacrifice, discipline, 
and you're going to have to sacrifice and give up certain things to get to that next level. You can't get what you want if you're just doing the same thing every single day. You're going to have to change certain things and give up addictions, give up different things in your life to get to that next level. So I hope this helps. We'll see you guys in the next one. We'll see you very, very soon. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you very soon. Peace.